Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be demonstrating this line and wash painting of a scene from the Tatra Mountains in Eastern Europe. First, I'll sketch out the scene, and then I shall go over my sketch with waterproof fine liners, and I'll show you that in time lapse because the sketching can be quite a time consuming process. This is the photograph that I've used as inspiration from Pixabay and I shall try to remember to leave a link to that in the description below. And if you're interested in finding out more about loose sketching for landscape painting then follow the link below to my Patreon page where I'm starting off a new series of in-depth workshops looking at that subject. Now that the line work is complete, I can paint the scene wet in wet. And what I'm focusing on is not trying to colour the scene in, but to loosely put in the colour and the tonal values where I need them. I'm using the wet in wet technique and a big brush and using a limited palette of cobalt blue, cerulean blue, raw and burnt sienna, burnt umber, sap green and perylene green and Payne's grey.
So that's most of this loose linen wash painting finished, the wet in wet part at least. Um, so everything will just soften and diffuse as it dries. And then I'll come back and continue with a little more painting, um, wet paint onto the dry painting to finish it off. There won't be much to do because I've put nearly everything in wet in wet this time. Um, all I need to do now it's dry is put in a little bit of um, greyish blue shadow for these distant mountains with cobalt blue mixed with a little bit of burnt umber. I'm keeping the value um, quite light and keeping the grey quite blue. Um, this is because cool colours recede and warm colours come forward and I want these distant mountains to be pushed back into the painting. Um, adding these shadows as well to this slightly closer um, outcrop will help to set this back into the midground behind this cabin um, and then when I come to just add a little bit of shadow to the cabin and paint the roof then that should push the cabin or, or bring the cabin forward as the centre of interest. So glazing over um, that outcrop here and there with this grey is just putting it into a little bit more shadow, it's softening it, blurring it back, making the colours less distinct, keeping the foreground um, a little warmer and brighter to keep it forward. Now I've mixed up a really dark grey, I've added some Payne's grey to that lighter grey and putting this end of the cabin into shadow, a little bit of shadow underneath the roof across that lighter side and then I'm just going to make a very light value raw sienna sorry burnt sienna and just wash a little bit of that over the roof and that should do So I'm pretty sure that's all I want to do to this painting, keeping it nice and loose, very sketchy. I've got my lovely um, softly blended colours across the whole piece from painting wet in wet and then just a little bit more focus to the cabin was all I needed because the structure was provided by my sketch and my line work. Don't forget to follow the link below if you're interested in joining us on Patreon for this new series on drawing and sketching for watercolour landscape painting. With its clean white border now we can see the painting as it's meant to be. It looks almost as if it's framed or matted and I'm really pleased with the way it, it's worked out. The scribbly loose sketching um, works well to suggest the scene. Uh, the tonal values give it structure and body um, and the nice sort of soft washes in the sky and the aerial perspective created by using those greys in the distance um, give us depth and distance. Well, I hope that was helpful and I hope that will help you to create sort of um, similar scenes yourself using um, methods of sketching and very loose watercolour washes. Let me know what you think in the comments. I always like to read them. And thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. We really appreciate you. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.